What is up, guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, and today I have for you a Sogan's Lament walkthrough where I'm going to go through the entire dungeon in four minutes to tell you what you got to do. So let's get right into it. So, what you're going to do first when you first get into this is pick up the quest, and what you have to do is you split yourself into two groups of three. Um, go each on each side of this thing, work your way up, kill the enemies, and uh, pull the levers at the end. When you reach the end of this, you're going to see two bosses. So everybody goes to one side, and everybody on the one side, you uh, start fighting the boss, and eventually the second boss will jump over to the uh, other side to uh, gain, join in on the fight. So you see him come in right now, jumps on over, and then you uh, just proceed to DPS the two bosses down. And after you go ahead and beat both those bosses, uh, you'll be able to move on into the next section of the dungeon. So in this section uh, coming up, you're going to pick up the quest that comes in, and you're going to eventually end up in this tunnel. So through this tunnel, you're going to run to the end, kill all the enemies in the tunnel, and then a uh, set of guards with shields is going to spawn. So these guards with shields, you kill the guards with the shields, pick up their shield, and then just hold down 1 uh, by default on the keyboard. If you rebound your 1 key to something else, it'll uh, switch to that. You just hold down 1 um, while this boss thing throws the lightning at you, and that is it. It'll die and end up killing itself. So uh, super easy. So you do that three times before you get to here. So for this boss, you need to make sure you spawn. You uh, have stuns and knockdowns suspect on your character. So whatever stuns and knockdowns you have, you need to have them. What you're going to end up doing on this boss fight is the boss is going to spawn some enemies, and you need to knock down the green ones and stun the blue ones. So here we are, we're just regularly fighting through the boss, and you see a note that comes up, the shadows have appeared. So if you see the green one there, what you got to do is you got to knock down green ones, so you're going to see me going for a knockdown, and get the double knockdown on it. And then for the blue ones, you need to stun them. So I'm going to hit one stun on it, but unfortunately the team doesn't complete the uh, joint stun. So um, anyway, after you stun or knock down all of these enemies, you're going to get another set of shield get barrier guys. you got to pick up their shield, and the same thing you did in the tunnel. You just gotta have to use it, the uh, one by default, to block the attacks, and then you can go ahead and throw your shield at the boss to knock him down. Um, so after you do that, that'll, that's basically rinse and repeat until you beat the boss. This next section is uh, stupidly, comically easy. All you have to do is kill the soldiers as they walk in, and then uh, kill the two birds that spawn. So after you kill the four guys that are standing around, these two birds are gonna spawn in, and you just uh, go ahead and kill the two sets of birds. So the red one will jump down, and then the blue one will jump down at 10%, and the red will go back up at 60, and then they'll both come down when they're both at 60. So after you do that, you're going to end up in Sogan's Lament, so, or actually fighting the boss, Asura. So um, the boss, Asura, you just go ahead and DPS it regularly at the start. And then at some point, he's going to do this, where he picks up his swords here and makes that fiery flash down on the ground. So at that point, you need to use some sort of escape to back out and uh, go to your team, where you should all station up here. If anybody has a party protect from part, uh, projectiles, they need to use that skill now to uh, defend you guys from that. So now he's going to spawn these two fire flame things. So somebody has to block both of these fire flames. In this case, that'll be me. Whoever blocks both of these fire flames needs to move out of the way and get to the outskirts of the map. So as you see, fire orbs are falling down behind me as I walk, and that does that three times. Um, and then after that, or four times rather, after that fourth one, you can go back in and fight. He's going to drag everybody in the middle, so make sure you iframe that, as you see me doing right there, and then proceed to continue battling the boss. So now this is the frost phase, the second phase. So just like the red thing where he screw up and came down with a big fire, he comes down with ice. Um, you have to dodge those ice circles. And then eventually he'll do another big splash AoE of ice, as you saw right there. The orbs he spawns after the ice phase are not as critical to be blocked. And now it's basically just a rinse and repeat of each of these phases. So once again, he shoots out ice bolts, and you have to block the ice bolts. And then he's going to try and drag you all in, uh, just like he did in the fire phase. And then he will uh, either drag you in, so just make sure you iframe that, as you see me do right there. And you're back into DPSing the boss. So also another thing that's going to happen um, while you're DPSing this boss is that he's going to spawn these things called life blooms. So what you're going to see here is a little notion that comes up that he didn't absorb any life blooms. I'm going to slow down the video right here. So you see behind him spawning, and there should be a little caption that comes up telling you uh, where that life bloom is. So what you got to do for life blooms is you need to step on them. Um, it doesn't have to be everybody, just somebody needs to step on that life bloom. If he absorbs the life bloom, uh, he gains back about a twelfth of his health to a tenth of his health, and uh, that definitely slows down your ability to kill the boss, although it's not completely a, a game ender. So as you see me picking up a couple more life blooms to make sure, that the boss doesn't gain any more health back at the end of this phase. And eventually, you will uh, have completed the boss. So once again, just rinse and repeat of uh, using the flame and frost phases. They go back and forth. So during flame phase, make sure you block the embers that he shoots out. And uh, yeah, work your way and beat the boss, absorb life blooms. And that is the Asura dungeon covered up in four minutes. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found it useful. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next video. Peace.